Well, now he's tripped the electricity. So uh, I was trying to figure out what the uh, problem is. Okay. Because and there's the, there's the cavity side of it. Look at the state of that. And then we've got this cover, light duty cover. So. Saturday, 8 o'clock, back at Berries, back at the Maidley Mix. They're still there, that we left. They're all chip ones that we could put sorted through. We need 10 more of these. That's the Maidley Mixture. We had a lot of brake on us yesterday, so we ran out basically. So it's another round trip to Berries. In the brick section again, the roof tile section. A lot of empty bays at the moment with materials. It's just getting our 10 now and we're, we're off back to home skirt. It's typical, all these uh, bottom ones are the uh, best condition. Lovely, yeah. Anything else while we're here? Then we just get a couple of tubes of silicon for the end of the door. I'm going to fit the door. Now hopefully as that one go, got a scratch on screen. It's a lens protector. Off a bit. Oh, you, don't want, you don't want this angle, do you? Oh no. Right, welcome to a Brooklyn show. Um, right, because we're quick, hopefully we'll be quick in the shop. In and out. hell is that? It's the furnace we're putting gens out of. Is it? These are £1.30 each now. Oh my god. £1.30. But they don't half look good. That's the lovely wall we built that's nobody's seen. Be sure to uh, check it out. Yeah. 902. We're here. After our trip to Berries. So um, that's what's left to do today. Basically all the finishing off. That brickwork, look, we should have pointed that. See the face work? It's above ground. Right. I'll have to tidy that up. But that's another thing we'll come to. Um, yeah, steel out today. That one's out, that needs cutting in half. Finish the patching, patch that up, lintel in. So anyway, let's get cracking. I just wanted to give you a quick update. Do you remember when Dad set off the fire alarm at the warehouse when we were doing that job and uh, he thought he decided to blame, blame us both when he's the one who set it off? Well, now he's tripped the electricity. So uh, I was trying to figure out what the uh, problem is because we need to isolate the electricity or whatever because it's not turning on, back on. So, Dad, well done. So until then, mixers on a uh, mixers on hold, and everything's on hold. We're just getting the acro set up now, as you can see in the time lapse. So, yeah. Well, that was a frustrating hour. Um, what I was doing was knocking this acro in, knocking this stone boy in, and. Electric went pop, so there's no obvious wires anywhere near it, didn't catch anything, didn't cut anything, no electric shocks, it just went. And then um, the board must be over sensitive because it won't, it will not go back on now. The only thing we can get working is the upstairs sockets. So, um, poor customer's got no electric in the house now whatsoever. So, we've um, plugged the lead in upstairs, our lead brought us around to here. Plug the fridge and freezer in so they don't go down, and then we can still have power off that now. And everything's working. Mixers in, 
and Alex is going to cut this steel down. We're going to cut it in half just to make it more manageable so it'll fit in the van. And that'll be getting weighed in. And there's the, there's the cavity side of it. Look at the state of that. And there's the bit that was indoors, so not much rust on it there, but you can see it's hammered. Especially down that end. So Alex is going to cut this. Just make sure you don't push on the grinders, just let the grinders do the work. Mm -hmm. When ready in you are. So cut it where the brick is. Yeah. Can move your box so the sparks aren't bouncing back at you. That's it. Thick steel that, no wonder it's so heavy. Thicker than modern steel. I think I'm almost through the uh, top bit. Yeah. That is thick steel that. Just roll this side back so I can show it. Jesus, look at the state of that. That's quite that's heavy. That's some thick stuff. Oh god. Bloody hell. I got all the skyscraper up that. Well, it wouldn't because it's rusting. But <laughs> yeah, otherwise that's on. Look at that. That was the actual footprint of the brick in the rust. We're out to have a break while that cools down. Yeah.
I've had dinner. Outside's finished. We'll show you that later. Alex has got all this cut out. The steel has dropped. We we'll cut out under there, and for some reason, it doesn't want to drop anymore. So we're still trying to get this one out. Tough one. Um, anyway, I think it's attached to something on the wall, mate. Let's just put this out of the way. Right, push over. Right. 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 It's still the test of getting down though. Yeah, it's not for half the weight now, isn't it? Another speed bump. Averted, well not averted, gotten over. These steels, I don't know what they weigh, but I can't describe how heavy they are. Look at that. They must be 15, 20 mil thick. And, oh, 3.3 meters long, I have to measure them. So we've had to cut it where it is just to get it down because it's only the two of us we can't get scaffold or trestles in to get it down there's no room so um, we've basically halved it that was close and we just nearly dropped it just, just put a wedge under that side Al take the weight no don't, don't, don't move anything yet just take, take it back yeah I've got it That in the front, front of the lip. I, I can't. I've got it. Right. Where am I putting it? It's just in front of it, so it stop it rolling forward. That's it. I'll stop in it. Stay there. Why don't I just try and get it off now? Because these two of us, I'll, I'll just sort this out and then we'll do it. Right, yeah, just, I'll just keep hold of it until you're done. No, go on. Go on. Yeah, that's steady, isn't it? Okay. Right. Yeah, cutting off. Very unstable. So we're going to try and get them lifted down now and get them around the front. But they are heavy. Very heavy. And um, time's getting on to get like, on it. Time's moving on as usual. We've still got a lot to do. But this is the main thing, getting these out. And I'm going to patch all this up. And Alex is going to tidy up outside. We've still got a door to fit yet. So um, yeah, back to time lapse to get these out.
Boom. It's done. I'm not even going to ask the time. Right, Sunday morning, back on my own. Just trying to try and get this door fitted, which I've never actually done myself. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just looking now and it's, um, it's upside down, for starters. Luckily I haven't started to fit it. But yeah, everything done by the door is done. So I'm back on my own to fit this. Um, I'll stick it on time, that's what I uh, give everyone a laugh at me trying to fit the door. And then um, we'll do the final walk around when we're all finished. So we'll stick it outside for now. Update on my door, fitting skills, sorry, lack of skills. So nice and tight up this side because our side is straight. Tight at the top on this side. Ouch. So it's all screwed in and everything. I've got a bit of tin packed on top of here. I've got some old facing boards to cut down and trim that up with. Just to tidy that up, I'll put a couple of screws into there because that's screwed down into the frame now, so that's solid. And then it's just the ceiling to do. It's took it's probably took three times longer than a fitter would take, but I haven't got, I've not really got the right tools and um, limited experience. I don't think I've ever fitted a door before. I've just watched people do it. So um, yeah, that's what we're up to. And the, luckily the door, the hinges just pop in there, which is massive help on me own because the door's heavy. So we'll um, get these trims sorted out, get it sealed up, get the door on and do a recap. Right, we're all done in there, let's get these beastly steels in. Bloody ridiculous these, I wish Alex was here with me. It did look like rubbish. Yes, yes. Oh. But you, you managed to uh, put there in its stead, so. Yeah. Oh, that's well, I, know, I know people, so. Um, like to call, uh, to call Robbie, the. Um, so there's the steels all ready to go to the scrapyard? As you can see, how thick that steel is. It's so heavy, it's so heavy. And you can see how quick it rusts as well. That was only cut yesterday. The rust has taken hold already. And then on these ones, you can see just how much they've expanded. These are the externals, these are the internals. 
Yeah. Shocking. But it's out now. No more moving brickwork. Oh, off to the scrap yard for them tomorrow. A big reveal. And I'm done. It took me the best part of the day to put that door in, but I'm not a door expert. It works perfectly, which is a big, big relief. There we have it. One secure utility room. So it used to be a garage door with two big steels across the top and then steels were left in and it was just partitioned off with a stud with a bit of T and G on the front, no insulation and MDF on the back. The steels rusted and lifted, cracked all the brickwork up the middle there like a zip, water got in steel's got worse, water got down the back, rotted all the timber, completely rotted at the bottom and it was just doing nothing so customer got us in and uh, after a quick fix but there is no quick fix for that I said it definitely need, it's going to need dropping new foundation and building up properly which is what we've done which is what you've seen already so where the manor was that's a flag so that's completely sealed, no smells, it's all safe. So that's part of the floor now. Lintel's over, and then we've got this cover, light duty cover. So, so now, looks a bit weird, but there's access to that branch for the toilet. So any problems, it can all be accessed. And it just makes the job look Nice and tidy. That's a lot of smart that. Made up with that. That was really hard. But the hardest ones are the most satisfying when they're done. Shame arch, isn't it? Yeah, made up with that. So um, if you like this one, don't forget to hit that like button for us. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We'll be we're heading towards 20,000. And um, don't forget to notif hit the notification bell so you'll be uh, notified every time we release a video. So yeah, Sunday afternoon, I'm going for a lie down. See you in the next one.